Howdy, howdy, dear YouTube. It's Uno May. I'm back with the ninth entry of my risk vlog vlog. Now, you might notice the backdrop looking a little different. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I opted to come see my mama. So I'm at my mama crib right now, man. And um, I have to say, I'm very grateful that. You know, I can be around family at a time like this, you know. It hasn't been easy, but it's it's, it's encouraging. And speaking about encouragement, I also want to... I know I lashed out the other day, <laughs> but I, I want to give some respect, credit, and recognition to all the people who have given me feedback, have hopped onto this uh, vlog entry, and giving me feedback and are telling me they're enjoying the content, people I know and people I don't know. You know, I just want to say that I appreciate it and it's encouraging. I thought I was going to have difficulty finding the consistency, but it's actually quite uh, a great process. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, a lot of sad stories I've, I've come across. Um, justice for doing Sila, you know, we're still on that mission. <clears throat> know anything if you know anyone who can help or if you want to help my contact details are available on this page so uh, you can give me a shout and we can do it um, it's incredible man I went from six subscribers last week now I have 31 <laughs> 31 so shout out to all 31 subscribers it's not really about the numbers for me this is like like I always say, it's like therapy for me. I'm trying to deal with the enormity of what I'm going through. And with each post, I just, with each uh, risk that I'm trying to take or think about taking, it just takes me deeper into another level of understanding myself. So it brings me to today's topic. Today's topic concept is uh, a tricky one to talk about. Because uh, I think to an extent it's kind of embarrassing that someone like me, as old as I am, with all the opportunities I've been provided, has no actual investment in a property, in Bitcoin, in a hedge fund, nothing, nothing, you know, and made me start thinking, you know, like reaching that train of thought. First of all, yeah, I also want to give a special mention to, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, man, Koshik, Koshik, on, on Twitter, and shout out to my boy Stan for retweeting that post, where he's talking about, you know, you're never going to understand the idea or concept of in investments and stocks until you actually do it and I think that's something that um, I, I had been struggling with like man why should I why should I but isn't that risky as well you know the the risk when when I think about it is like man what if those companies crash all these people I'm giving my money to you know what if I, I actually or I might give my money to what if I actually don't get it back you know what if you know, you purchase a property and it doesn't yield the anticipated results. You know, and the things that you're only gonna know after a long period of time, after having made the investment. So I understand that maybe my my thinking might be poor on, on that note, but I am trying to improve. So the risk that I've taken is, uh, I spoke to my brother Stan after seeing that retweet from Chic. I told him Stan because what Stan did is like he just put 200 bucks into the cryptocurrency and invested in like a week later like 200 had elevated 235 I'm like oh that's nice <laughs> that's actually quite nice making your money work for you you know while you do close to nothing and you don't also need to have a lot of money so I always thought that man to invest you must have millions or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands and put that down and after five years you have more millions you know that was my, my poor thinking you know so um, the risk that I've taken today 
is I have made an investment in a cryptocurrency. <laughs> kind of like Elon Musk, <laughs> except without the millions. <laughs> so yeah, I, I bought some some cryptocurrency. I don't know what the yield will be. I don't know how long it'll take for me to make my money back. If I'll ever make my money back. But I did put a small amount, so it's something that I never actually benefit from. Maybe I don't feel the, the L. But no risk, no reward. High risk, high reward. So I mean, I don't know, I'm kind of confused. So what I did is, you know, I don't have the laptop with me, I'm chilling. But I did some homework beforehand. I made some notes in the the journal, the risk journal. And um, the first thing I wanted to define, actually the thing that caught my attention, I'm still in story mode. <laughs> the thing that caught my attention about Kushik's post specifically is that concept of skin in the game. He says you need to put skin in the game. Oh my nigga, what the fuck is skin in the How do you... Skin? Skin? How do I put my skin in the game? What what does that mean? You know, actually when I pinch myself and I do that, I actually it clicks even more. You know, and the concept is it's it's a it's a term that apparently was uh, popularized by Warren Buffett, who everybody knows is one of the ballers on this earth. <laughs> one of God's God's chosen ballers. And um, what it says is like Using your own money to buy into a company or into something. Use usage of your own money. And it, that statement from Koshik caught my attention because I remember at my previous work situation, um, they would always say that, no, you need to put skin in the game, you know, under this whole concept of ownership. You need to put skin in the game. Until you put skin in the game, you understand you won't understand what's at stake. You know, and for me, I just got stuck on the skin in the game. Like, what the fuck is that, nigga? What is that? I understand what you mean. I need to put money so I have a more control and more responsibility in this structure. You know, and that's one of the things I think when I think back, kind of frustrated me. It's like, I mean, I, I, I want to apply that concept of ownership. The only barrier is that I haven't put skin in the game. You know, and if, if you haven't put skin in the game, then there actually is no ownership. You know, and that was like the illusion that was making me dizzy because I hadn't put in anything. And if you ain't put it in nothing, if you ain't put it in everything, don't be expecting nothing. It's a rap line, you know, got them for days. So, skin in the game, that's what. That's the concept that triggered my mind to start working. So I started to ask myself, okay, fine. So by definition, using real English words, what is an investment? And I didn't like the definition, but I'm going to read it. They say, an investment is investing money for profit. I'm like, nigga, you're using the word investment. I'm sorry, using the word invest. How the fuck are you going to help me to understand what this is without using that word then i found like an archaic definition of the word investment and i think i kind of like it it says um the surrounding of a place by a hostile force in order to block it so my company or me i'm at war i surround the place with force and that place is my investment. It's like I have an interest there. I protect that place. It's my investment. I'm like, oh, that kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense, you know? So I'm like, okay, fine. So you mean to tell me that I can only invest in property? I can only invest in stocks, I can only invest in hedge funds, I can only invest in provident funds, I can only invest in pension funds, I can only I can only invest in what's the other Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. And I found that 
I found that a bit weird and I asked myself, okay, fine, so what have you been doing with the money that you've been earning, nigga? Like, you, you ain't invested it, what did you do? And I thought about it hard, man. I'm like, okay, I actually do have something that I have barricaded. I have an investment in my heart, which is in my talent, my art, my passions. I've spent so much money. I think I've got close to 30K worth of equipment. And when I think about it, I don't think there's anything I would have better spent that money on than the things that make me happy. Knowing that having these things is making me happy now and they have potential to make me happy. I'm sorry, they, they can take me to another level of life if I embrace them and my passion. So I, I think sometimes when we talk about investment, we just have this rigid idea of it. And you must understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you must either invest in yourself or invest in stocks, cryptocurrencies or whatever. Why not try everything? High risk, high reward. The high risk here is that I've already invested in myself. I've been. I'm not, I'm not going to stop. But I'm also investing in other things. And that's the high risk. All, all, all of these finances are going out. And I can't see the return today. And it is kind of frustrating. I mean, even with stocks, you won't see that return. Or the value of what you put in. You won't see it tomorrow got to have patience you know and that's that's another critical thing about understanding risk is that it comes with with patience you know not just in the financial sector but even other things that I've done you know um, the risk Edu took to reach out to me to put the post about his 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 uh, the unsolved mystery of the murder of his wife that's that's um that's the risk that he took to get onto my youtube channel and communicate them so i don't know man i don't know i don't know i feel like that action on his part was an investment and he has to be patient for the outcome hopefully it'll come out soon you know so yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking about, man. I uh, put down some money in some cryptocurrencies. Um, I hope something comes out of it, man. I'm just yeah, I just like felt so bad for not having something like that in place in my life. Seeing how the world is going, you know, the direction in which the world is going. So that's the risk I'm taking for risk log entry number nine what else can i say the long and short of this is or let me package it like this um in order to have a say you need to put skin in the game you need to take something off yourself and put it there so that there's something of yourself in there and that will affect your understanding of what's happening there because there's a part of yourself in there and I think that's what skin in the game means and it's not just you know investments, funds, stocks, Wall Street, um, JSC, no it's, it's, it's any action before I bounce I want to share one quote I don't listen to this is not the quote <laughs> I don't listen to a lot of Beyonce's music but I listen to Beyonce and one thing I'll never forget that Beyonce said because all of this is a gamble it's all a gamble everything we're doing every goddamn day is a gamble right any risk is a gamble I'm gambling even doing this risk vlog you know what I'm saying What did Beyonce say? She says, um, I don't gamble much, but when I do, I bet on myself. 
I bet on myself. I put that 30k into me, not into somebody else's pocket to ensure that they make money for me. Log, vlog, entry number nine. By the way, I'm on my way to the beach. You'll be hearing from me from there soon enough. Peace out.